Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion laptop. This is an HP Pavilion X360 M model. The exact specific variant for this model is an 14M-DH1001DX and in this video I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really quickly or it's just really blown up, is it really pushing towards the cover and you can't even click in here because once it uh, inflates it starts pushing towards the trackpad and you can't even click in here you don't feel these tactical clicks then you might want to follow this video and replace your battery this applies for any x360m model so it doesn't have to be this X specific one i'll leave the link for the tools and the compatible battery in the video description in case you want to purchase yours also i'll give you a tip for how to keep the battery performance at the best state possible. All right, so first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. You wanna flip it upside down, and then you wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set, as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're gonna use a Phillips number zero and number one. And we are gonna use an opening tool, and we're gonna to use a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. We're going to grab our Phillips number zero and we're going to remove two screws that are invisible in front of the laptops. So remove these two tiny screws. And then we're going to switch to our Phillips number one. We're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to re just remove or lift up the corner of this uh, rubber legs. And then you want to remove the screw right at the underneath. There we go. These screws are a little bigger. I will say way bigger. Remove the one on the other side. There's only hidden screws on the back uh, rubber legs, nothing in the front rubber legs. Once we do that, we're going to grab the opening tool and we are going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. Just jam it right there about two or three millimeters inward. And then what you want to do, you just want to twist it like this and you want to hear those big click sounds. You want to work yourself all around in the front. Go to the back corner on the side, gently. There we go. Don't worry about those big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. And go to the other side. It's take about two or three millimeters. Don't stick the whole guitar pick in there. Once you did the front and the sides, you want to grab it and wiggle it around. And there's a tiny hook in the middle right there. And that one, it should pop up a little, yank it up a little bit. And there we have the bottom cover. And the battery is right in front of you. And if you want to order it from HP, the spare part number is right here. It says L419-855. That's the spare part number from the HP if you want to order. Or you can just buy it by the battery model, which is an HT03XL. I'll leave the link for your compatible batteries in case you want to purchase yours. To remove the battery, we're going to use the same Phillips number one, and we're going to remove five screws. Two screws right on the in front of the battery, right in front of the laptop, right here, and two right by the connector, and one right in the middle. And to lift it up, grab it from one corner here, and bring it upward. And there we have it. You can see the shape of the battery is here. There's a three-cell battery. One, two, three, and there we go. There's no extra connection or anything like that, no cables. Just get yourself the new battery, and there's a palm rest right in here. Once it starts inflating, it will push towards the palm rest and it will not let you to click. So before we put the new battery in, make sure this corner side, this hook, there's a little pinhole right there. It goes right in there, and there's one in this side. Those have to have to match before you let drop it down on the connector. And then you want to put the screws back on. All right, once you're done with that one, all you want to do, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and squeeze the corner, the front, the sides, the back. You want to hear those nice click sounds. If you see any gap opening, press in the middle right here, put that hook right in there so it hooks in. You want to put the back screws first. Also, just remember, once you replace your battery or remove your battery, as soon as you power on, 
it will take up to 10, 15 seconds for it to show a, a text on the screen saying that your BIOS will be reset to default. Press enter to continue. That's a normal once you remove the battery because there's no BIOS battery on these laptops. They take the charge from the BIOS from the main battery. So wait 15 seconds, you get that text, press enter, restart, and it's gonna boot up normally to the Windows. But once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leaving, leave it charging for at least four hours. After four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and you want to make sure you discharge the laptop. You slowly bring the brightness down to 50, 30 percent. Put some light work, some movies, don't put any heavy load. Let it drain the battery slowly down to 30, 20 percent and then you want to power it off and then you want to connect the charger, leave it there again for four hours for charging. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery and you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery on a bit on the best performance state. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.